Previously on The Potentialists. My team has a major sense of humor. Michael, <laughs> I'm starting like a week after everybody else is juicing. This is on. Oh, it's got a weird aftertaste. Don't judge people. And at the end, look. Anyone can entertain you, but only we edutain you. With a mixture of fun, learning, and craziness, my team and I travel the world motivating and connecting with people. Get ready to make it happen. We're always pushing ourselves when we're working hard here at Boa World, whether it be in our events or our motivational missionaries tours. But while we work hard, Another thing we teach at Bow World is balance and having a balanced lifestyle. Every now and then we want to do some family activity together. Hi, I'm Dylan. I sit on Hey. Yeah. No. Oh. It's just confirmation for us that our team belongs together because we all work so well together. <laughs> Eric, what are you doing there? I feel like people have gotten Good in trouble. Yeah. Like so much fun in the studio. What's real neat is we are go-getters. We do everything to the extreme, kind of. And sometimes we get to get uber creative. And the Boa kids actually just finished a video that they made for their science class. I know they were in a cave at the center of the earth, and then at one point I know pistachios. Pistachios. What they ended up coming up with shooting and editing was it was pretty spectacular. Miami traffic, Miami drivers. We do not have the greatest drivers in Miami. And unfortunately, Eric and I were both reminded of that. We were out driving to the store because lately the entire team has been eating really healthy. It started with the juicing and now just basically our new eating habits are very, very healthy. So today we decided to actually have a cheat day. So that's why Eric and I were both on the road heading to Publix to get some ice cream. The healthy gods did not agree with this and they sent a moronic Miami driver to literally stop in our path. We were going through a green light and a lady actually cut left in front of us and we had a blind spot because there was another car. I slammed on the brakes but we couldn't stop in time and we just hit the back of the other car and it happened just like instantaneously. Just poof. It's like a bomb went off. Smoke everywhere. It definitely disorients you. It was kind of scary so I'd never actually been in an accident in years and the passenger side where I was sitting cracked, airbags deployed. You know, you, you just got into a car accident, you're kind of, your adrenaline is still there. You're thinking about so many different things, and then you have this, not even an officer, a PSA, which is a, a public service aide, and she's very just rude to us. Oh, okay. What the? Why can't she open the window? So rude. I gave her my license, no basic manners. I'm like, here you go. Do you need anything else? She rolls up her window right in front of me, I'm like, we're waiting there for her to finish, and she just can't be nice at all. It even got Eric pissed off. She has no manners. No manners? No one in this world has any manners at once, so it's appalling. And then no one has accountability, and that's why you have idiots over there. They're like, no, no, I didn't do it. I'm a little left there. He's very passionate. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Roboto came into our shop. So while we're waiting, since we were already in the shopping center for Publix, Bert actually decides to go to Publix and get the ice cream. You know, very, very time efficient. I get it. It's like 10, 15 minutes. And he's still in Publix. Still in Publix. You think he's eating the ice cream? Probably. In store. In store. In the store. Some of us are thinking that he's in the store, just like scoping out all the ice cream. We don't know what's going on. Is that Bert? <laughs> oh, look at Bert all the way over there. We actually see him across the parking lot, walking back towards the house. Come over here, Bert! <laughs> Bring it over here, man! He's got the ice cream. He says he's going home. <laughs> he's leaving us. Go ahead, say what you got. Well, I got the birthday cake. Oh, the yum. That's me! <laughs> What's your birthday? No, but I want birthday cake. <laughs> <laughs> it's a crash dummy. You put in happy birthday crash dummy? <laughs> Why doesn't he bring it here? <laughs> so finally when the PSA was done with all of her paperwork, she explained to us how we can get more information and luckily we didn't get any tickets because we weren't at fault. So I would say the moral of the story is be extra careful when driving in Miami. The drivers here are not the best. And just because it's green doesn't mean you're really safe. You gotta pay attention to the road. In the end, I'm just really glad that Eric and I are safe and alive. Whoa!
Hi, I'm Dylan. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe so you can make it happen with Bow World. Uh.